axle C-clips. What the heck are these things? Or if you have a um, an axle that's a C-clip axle, it doesn't the axle is not held in by the backing plates on either side of the axle. They're usually bolted on. And then you have like usually a rear end with a whole little center section that uh, pops in like a Toyota uses it. All their trucks you'll see it. There's no cover on the back. It's just the whole center section. Ford 9 inch. It's just, there's probably a couple other ones that are like that. Old like 50 Chevys had them too. Like a Tri-5 Chevy or Tri-5 Olds. The Olds we had had that 56 Olds. But this and uh, Mopar axles are some, sometimes like that too, the center section. So they don't have these. C-clips, they're just sitting in the um, the carrier and the differential, whatever the hell you want to call it. One on this side, one on the other side. And it's a pin in the middle. And the pin's basically stopping the axle from going in. And this is preventing the axle from going out. You think of it that way. I actually have pretty damn worn ones on my pickup, hence why I bought these for like three dollars a piece. These are GM ones. They're well, like a copper color now. I believe they're still steel, but I believe on this side they actually are pretty damn worn around here. Where the cause this just goes right into the axle, and the axle has a wide little has a slot in it, and then a wide end that fits over here. And that eventually just start wearing right here. That's what mine were. I was when I, when it's the last time I had my axles out and I replaced the axle seals. This is back in like 2008 or 9 at my old shop. I was gonna put them in backwards, but I didn't really like that because this has a flat edge on this side, and this is more of a rounded edge. So I left them like I'm worn, but still I have a lot of in and out axle play, and I'm pretty sure if I put new C clips in it's going to reduce a lot of that so that could be a job in the f near future or oh, but it's getting hot out so probably not so though it's sure that that's all it is holding your axles on a uh, GM even a Ford too like 8.8 .8, it's the same deal with the uh, C-Clips I remember when my kids at work used to have a lot of Mustangs used to always play around with those T5 transmissions and uh, 8.8 so that's that and we got a Honda spring for our motorcycle yeah this actually works in the lumbar support it's like seven bucks lumbar support on um, the Chevy trucks because the spring brakes on it there's a little spring on the bottom and a cable and that's what's broken in our truck pretty sure you just hear the cable go up stops go down and then there's no movement so you got to take apart the whole seat there's YouTube videos on it. I don't know if I'm going to even attempt it. Maybe I'll bring it to the interior shop. And they hook that thing on there. Hook the cable to it. Lumbar support works again. Because it's not a balloon that inflates. It's just basically a uh, a plate. When you pull up on this. When the cable puts tension on it. Well actually this is this for. So when the cable is at its maximum height. It stretches the spring. And not, you know, if you have a cable, you're pulling it on a fixed object, eventually it's going to snap on you. So, that's that. But, basically the lumbar is just like a, a um, plate that kind of like articulates a little bit. So as you put, it might goes down or something, it goes up, I forget. It pushes out more, and then sucks back in. It's kind of weird. Uh, you see it good in like a lot of, like, uh, crappy like German cars, like Mercedes and whatnot. It's this little back panel on a seat, a bunch of clips, you just pop it right off and you would see it. I mean, if you're at like a car lot or a used car lot or something, auction, junkyard, you will see it a lot. Because when the, uh, the seat is down, you know, I guess probably somebody had problems with the lumbar, so they just ripped it all off. And then I've seen a lot, they put towels behind there, or just like uh, blocks of wood. They do some ghetto-ass shit. So that's that. Uh, I should get some more of these. We gotta see if they're magnetic. Pretty sure they are. That's steel. It's just a copper um, anti rust coating on it. That's weird. It VIN matches though. Always check your VIN. Have your VIN number. Put the VIN in. Put the part number in. Matches. You know you're good. Fits all their cars. Cool. That's what we got. Maybe we'll do something. Maybe we won't. It's getting hot. 
hot.